I didn't realize I was actually on theme today because I'm wearing a Star Wars Mandalorian um, shirt and I got Star Wars right here. I didn't realize I was on theme today. But today's video, we're gonna be testing out the Star Wars Mandalorian collaboration with ColourPop, The Child, and it's gorgeous. He's adorable. I just wanna get that out of the way because it's the packaging is stunning. Like when it comes to packaging and collaborations, ColourPop just nails it for me. Like um, Mulan, for example, the Frozen 2 one. This one now, like I'm obsessed. I'm interested in swatching some of these shades. I already opened it, just getting that out of the way. But I'm interested in swatching this shade right here, this greenish gold, which is called The Force. And that is like alien like glow. That is beautiful. It was a swatch. Uh, and it does feel really creamy. I did swatch this one, this shade, the middle shade, which is called Babyface, this one. And it definitely needed to be built up a little bit. I'm not mad about that, but uh, I'm not gonna swatch any of the brown shades because we all know how brown swatch. I'm just gonna prime my eyes with this concealer from Makeup Revolution, the white concealer. I'm gonna blend that out with the JS3 brush from Morphe X Jeffree Star. I have no idea what I'm about to do, but I'm interested in just transitioning from the browns to the greens, or just do a green look, or just do two different looks with the green and the brown. I have no idea what I'm doing, but uh, first, I'm gonna start off with this brown, which is called Just Like a Tatooine, this one, which seems like a very good uh, transition shade. So, putting that in my crease, Oh, by the way, I used the M441 brush from Morphe to use that brown shade in my crease. Next, I'm using the M433 brush from Morphe again, and I'm using this dark brown, which is called Droid Protocol. And they all, oh, hello. First off, that chocolate brown looks stunning, but they all, like, I swirl it around in the brush, I swirl it around in the pan with my brush, and it had the same amount of kick up in the pan, so if you're not a fan of that, you're not gonna like this palette. I was actually a little bit shook with that brown. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna go back in with that first brush with no extra product, and I'm just gonna blend everything out, just so it doesn't look horrendous. Hmm. I actually want to put this color right here, which is this light greenish, like gold shade, which is called Precious Cargo. Wanna see how that looks in the inner corner. Ooh, pretty. It does feel like really creamy. I think this is their Super Shock formula. I have no idea, but that brow bone with the shade Precious Cargo, ugh, I'm obsessed. I'm using this shade, which is called La Force, which is this alien green gold. And I'm putting that all over the lid. I'm not using any like glitter primer, none of that. And so far I'm not receiving any fallout, which is a plus. Ooh, that green gold is upset, I'm obsessed. I'm going back in with that brush that we used the dark brown and I'm going back in with the dark brown shade again. I'm just closing the gap. Oh, I'm obsessed. Then I'm gonna take a makeup wipe because this is horrendous and just wipe away the excess. I'm interested in using this brush, which is just a smudger brush from Morphe. And I'm gonna use that color dark, and I'm gonna use that dark brown Droid Protocol shade again. And I wanna do a kind of like a smoky liner look with some eyeshadow, because I haven't done that on my channel at all. I'm gonna mix the Droid Protocol shade in the, just like a Tatooine. 
I'll just put that on the lash line. If you're interested in actually using any of these like metallic shades, definitely use some glitter glue because I'm definitely getting some glitter fallout. That's my fault. I should have been more prepared, but that's my fault. Now that we're done with this eye, it's very like simple, it's easy. And now we're heading over here now. Now we're planning on using some greens and I have my next glitter glue right here. So I messed up on the other eye with this greenish gold and I'm prepared now. I'm gonna use this brush, which is the JS. I forgot what brush this is, but this is a fluffy brush from Morphe H. Jeffree Star. And I'm using this middle shade, this middle green shade, which is called Baby Face. Definitely had some fallout, like everywhere. I think I just blew it all over my shirt. But at first it does look really pretty, but yeah, you definitely need to build up this shadow. I mean, it is a really pretty like green, but you definitely have to build it up. And it's actually blending out really nicely so far. I actually like this undertone of green because it's like something I don't really have in my collection, which I'm obsessed with. I'm gonna use the shade Little Frog on an M433 brush, which is the um, shadow with the glitter in it. So far, that actually looks really pretty. It seems promising. I'm packing this color on first at the outer V. I'm actually looking up closely in the mirror and I'm actually not seeing any of the glitter in this little frog shade on my eye, which is a plus because I'm working with mattes. I don't need to have mattes with glitter all over my eyes. If I want glitter all over my eyes, I'll just use a pressed glitter, even though I'm not really a fan of using pressed glitters. But anyway, yeah, I do like these tones of green next to each other. Like with my green eyes, I think it complements it really nicely. But I'm gonna just go back in with that first brush and just blend everything out. Just to make everything seamless. And why not, I just, I def eh. And why not, I'm just gonna use, next shade I'm gonna use is the Float Your Crib shade, which is this dark olive green shade. And you can definitely see the amount of fallout. You pick up in the pan. But you see that on my, um, what you call it, JS6 brush from Morphe X Jeffree Star. If you do have this brush collection, uh, but you can use any like packing crease brush. I'm packing that dark green in the outer V then slowly blending in the crease and just in circular motions. That green gave it some depth that I'm actually obsessed with. I'm not even done with this eye look yet on this eye, but I'm already obsessed with this eye. Sorry, but this one didn't really do it for me. Maybe because the glitter all over my eye, under eye area. Uh, what do I want to do? Eh, I want to be prepared. So I'm going to use my glitter primer, my glitter glue from NYX. And I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand because I'm prepared now. I'm gonna use this brush, which is from e.l.f., the name rubbed off because I've used this so many times, but I'm gonna use this shade right here, this green, which is called Sipping Soup. And just pack that on the lid. That's actually a really pretty green. First, I'm using this shade, which is called Sipping Soup. I have that on the outer portion of my eye. On the inner portion of the eye, I'm gonna go in with this shade on my finger, which is called Right Hand Mando. This one in the middle. And blow out some extra dust, just in case. I'm just gonna put that, uh, whoa. Hello. I wasn't expecting that much, like, Oh my god. I'm just gonna marry these two together. Hopefully I can actually do it, but it does look really pretty though. And honestly, after I applied the glitter primer, I'm not getting any glitter fallout anywhere. So that's a plus. Said that on the other eye. 
I'm going back in with this brush, the one that I used with the dark green. Now this is going to close the gap yet again. Now I'm just doing my final touches of blending so it looks seamless. Why not? Let me just use this precious cargo shade in the inner corner and brow bone again. Because I was obsessed with it on this eye, why not use it on the other eye? With no saturation of a brush and some setting spray, that is like pretty stunning. God. You can leave it the way it is, just like this, but I'm going in with a makeup wipe again. I'm just gonna clean up the excess eyeshadow. Even though we didn't have any fallout under the eyes, I wanna make it crisp and sharp. Ugh. I wanna do the exact same thing I did on the other eye where I used a smudger brush. I'm using a different smudger brush. This is from e.l.f. and I'm using this dark green shade again. And I'm just gonna tight line on my lower lat, tight line on my lash line to make, it, to make it look like a smoky wing. I use that exact same smudger brush from e.l.f. and I'm taking this dark green shade and I'm mixing that with the little frog shade. Just using that on the lower lash line. Beautiful, stunning. I think I'm interested. You can leave the look the way it is, but I'm interested in using the NYX Vivid Bright Liquid Liner in the shade Vivid Escape, the neon green one, the light green. And I kind of want to do something on the like, like the crease, because you can see that. And I'm not really a fan of it, but you can def you can definitely leave the look the way it is. But I'm interested in seeing what it will look like with the green liner. I'm obsessed with it now that I applied the green. Like I'm obsessed with it now. Like a little touch can actually change the whole look entirely and I'm obsessed with it. I'm actually gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Look Color in the shade 70 Amazonian. And I feel like this color would look really nicely with this lip. I feel like this lip color would look really nice with the, the greens and the brown. And this look, these looks actually, cause I did too. These looks are completed. So my final thoughts on the ColourPop X Star Wars Mandalorian, the child eyeshadow palette, I think is actually worth it for $16. I'm not mad about it. I definitely think that some of the shadows, like that baby face, that, that light green shade, definitely needed to be built up a little bit more than other shades, like the browns. The browns, they did nice. I'm not gonna talk about the browns because we all know how browns and colors like that work but the green I definitely think a glitter primer works really nice with these like super shock I guess they're super shock shadows like the like this the four shade these two shades this shade I feel like they work best with some glitter primer so I use the NYX glitter primer and not that much fallout on this eye. I did not add any glitter primer on this eye and you can definitely see some specks of glitter on my under eye area. Would I recommend this palette? Yes. If you're a fan of Star Wars, then you're gonna love this palette. Like there's some greens in here. There's some like, I think they did this palette justice, not because of the packaging, but the actual formula and the actual like shadow, like layout, like, I think they did a good job with this palette. I did purchase two, so I'm gonna have this one as a backup. But is it something that I'm actually gonna use every day? Probably yes, because you've got some of these browns. This is a very wearable look with some pops of color on the lid. And yeah, I think this is worth it. So 
This palette retails for $16, and I do think this is actually worth it for the price point and how many shadows you're getting in this palette. And yeah, I'm not mad about it. Some of the shadows blended out really nicely. I haven't had any bad experiences with these eyeshadows. ColourPop does really good collaborations. So this palette and collaboration, it's not a miss for me, it's a hit. It's a hit for me. So turn on that bell for post notifications so you don't miss an upload, subscribe, like, share this video with your friends, comment whatever videos you want me to film next. Comment which is your favorite eye look because Honestly, I'm leaning towards this side, the green side. But yeah, follow me on my social media, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that is in the description box down below. Go watch my previous video, I haven't yet already. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.